Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. Last time we left off, we'd done a lot more social links. I went on a tangent and a rant. <laughs> but we are getting really close to finishing up some social links. Let's actually take a look at what we've got so far. Seize is at the halfway point. We got rank 7, rank 9, rank 9, 8, 9, 5. Oh my god. Goodness, we bought a good amount of them nearly maxed out. That one's scripted. That one's almost done, that one's almost done. This one would have been done if I didn't fall behind by two, but still, we got free time, which can compensate for that. That one's almost done. Um, seven. We got a few of them, they're almost maxed out. We may actually max these out this time. Alright. So... Speaking of the devil, <laughs> that's one of the social links we're doing tonight. So, Polonia Mall and go to talk to Tanaka. Now, if you didn't fall behind like I did, this would be considered free time, and you usually this is a good opportunity to get your academics up. Anyways, I'm to talk to Tanaka. So, let's get this started. The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of, drop-dead gorgeous. I'm sorry to say, but much prettier than you. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Did you refuse? Well, if I say no, the tabloids will tear me to shreds. President Tanaka seems annoyed. Why should I have to give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of Squatler to get where I am today. In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I had always dreamt of, but to tell the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming, but I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business uh, philosophy and help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me fortune, but if it works, then I could sit back and relax in my massage chair. How about it? Want to become my successor? I'll even let you join the Tanaka family. Not just work, I'll even take care of your wedding. Just kidding. I'm sure you'll obtain something even bigger than my company. Oh wow, he actually respects us! If I say it, it's for sure. You see warmth and- you feel warmth and kindness from President Tanaka. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Holy cow, he actually respects us! <laughs> Wish I could say the same for other businesses, but hey, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> Donate to the unfortunate children. Huh. President Tanaka left. Alright, it is now the 30th of September. Last day of September. Hey, how's it going? I'm on fire. Haha, <laughs> that's great. Same here. Let's own that next shadow and make the world a better place, huh? <laughs> Junpei's getting excited. Nice to see him in spirits again, at least. Nope. Oh, lunchtime. Are we gonna see who we wanna see? Eh? Eh? Hey! Hiratoshi! Yes! The person we wanna see! Alright! And, since last time we brought him to rank 9, this is going to be our final social link with him! <laughs> so, let's head to student council for the last time. Alright, you helped Hidetoshi with his student council presentation. So that's my review on the proper way to wear one's uniform. Please keep these things in mind. 
I'm not trying to force everyone to change the way they dress. I would like to hear your opinion. You overhear several comments. Hey, did Hidetoshi just say he wanted to hear our opinions? Before he didn't care what we thought. Well, at least he's trying. The meeting is over, only you and Hidetoshi remain. Thanks, Jin-kun. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, how'd I do? It went well! If you say so. Anyway, it's a big weight off my shoulders. Hidetoshi seems to be blushing. I may have given people the impression that I'm selfish, but I'll win back their trust. Look at this. Hidetoshi removed a lighter from his pocket. You know that cigarette butt in the bathroom? One of the guys fessed up. And you know what else? He promised me that he'll never smoke again. The lighter is proof of that. I just earned his trust by showing concern for others, just like he taught me. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. Thanks. Obtain the cheap lighter. <laughs> I've been looking down on people. But that caused friction with everyone and dragged in someone dear to me. It really hit me when I was pers persuading the lighter's owner. How important it was to make an effort to understand. I learned that technique from you, as you employed it upon me. Hidetoshi seems embarrassed. You sense Hidetoshi has respect for you now. Your relationship is stronger now. Maximum rank up for the Emperor Student Council Arcana. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Emperor Kana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Odin, the ultimate form of the Emperor Arcana. At... The Student Council Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Student Council Social Link. The, emperor, the power to create personas of the Emperor Arcana has reached its maximum. Jaden Nakahara has forged a bond that cannot be broken. Alright, so now we can create Odin, the Storm God. As I try and get a cat to properly sit on my lap. Old lady. Did you remember the story I told you about the TV art anchor woman? The man sent to prison was my father. I see now that sincerity is important, and I'm proud of myself for learning its true meaning. Wow. I also realize what an amazing man my father is. One day... One day, will I be able to stand by your side? Hidetoshi is looking at you. Uh-oh. Uh. It's time to go home. You wanna go somewhere? You know, I've never hung out outside of school. You decide to go with Hidetoshi. He seems pretty excited. You need to sit on my lap or not at all. Where have you been? <laughs> this old cat can't make up her mind where to sit. Why are you on my arm? <laughs> Why are you on my arm? Sit back. There we go. Next Sunday is most likely the day. It's nothing to worry about, though. I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, you can count on me. Wait a minute. Is it just me, or is Iori actually- Or does Iori actually sound serious for a change? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Alright. So that's another one done. Anyways... Since we can't do this one just yet, we have to go grab that pocket watch. That's right, we're gonna find Shinji's pocket watch. So, if we go to the police station... Okay, you need to go down if you're not gonna stay s seated. And I think we just have to talk this time. You need something else besides the usual stuff? You're looking for something? 
Now that's up my alley. Tell me what you're looking for. An old pocket watch? <laughs> Today has to be your lucky day, then. Is this it? Obtained old pocket watch from Officer Kurosawa. If you'd come any later, I would have sold it to somebody else. I'm joking. Alright, so we have the pocket watch. So now, we can head back to the dorm and talk to Shinji. And this should maximize his social link as well. But yeah, you cannot get rank 10 until you find this pocket watch. Wow, the music changed. Oh, yeah, of course it did. We're in the house, uh, the, the dorm. <laughs> you... Shinjiro seems to be thinking about something. Does the old pocket watch you found at the police station belong to him? Will you show it to him? Show it. <laughs> That's... Hey, come with me, okay? Spend the evening with Shinjiro? Yes! <laughs> oh, thanks. Shinjiro thanked you solemnly. Uh-oh. We went to Naganaki Shrine. It's a quiet night with no one around. Where find did you this? find this? You told him that it had been taken to the police station and that you claimed it. Oh, I see. Wait, are we gonna have voice acting? Shinjiro toys with the pocket watch. I thought I'd be fine if I never saw this again. But I never imagined that you of all people would bring it to me. Shinjiro looks serious. This isn't really to pay you back, but I want you to have this. I was hesitating about if I should give it to you or not. The leather watch. I thought it looked good on you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Shinjiro seems embarrassed. Shinjiro looks down at his feet for a long time. Look after Aki. You know he's an idiot. You remember the story about the first fight we ever had? It was because I stole a doll from a toy store. Aki's sister couldn't make any friends. I stole it because I thought it'd make her happy. Aki found out about it, and he beat the crap out of me. And he was crying the whole time. Afterwards, we both went back to the store to return it, and to apologize for what I did. The toy store's owner smacked us both. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all from back then. He's stupid, honest, proud, kind, and a crybaby. That's why someone needs to be by his side. I'll be by his side. Wait, do you... No, never mind. I'm glad to hear it. I'll be counting on you. Shinjiro nods slightly. I ain't worried at all because I know you're with him. I'm leaving the rest to you. Shinjiro looks kindly at you. You sense a strong sense of trust from Shinjiro. <laughs> Maximum rank up. The Moon Shinjiro Aragaki. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Moon Arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Sandifal. Wow, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> but it's the ultimate Moon Arcana. The Shinjiro Aragaki Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Shinjiro Aragaki Social Link. The, your power to create Personas of the Moon Arcana has reached its maximum. Jaden Nakahara has forged a bond that cannot be broken. And now we have Sen Dalfon, the angel that conveys prayers. The wind's starting to pick up. I kind of want to stay here a little longer if we can, but aren't you cold? 
Hey, you're gonna catch something. Come here. You and Shinjiro talk about various things late into the night. October 1st. You overhear a conversation. We have to wear winter wear from now on. It's so heavy, my shoulders hurt. But I looked in the pocket and I found a lost possession. My shoulders hurt too. Plus, I hear weird voices and I've got a headache. Possession! <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we're back to our winter uniforms officially. I finally get to tell you about Masamune De Date today. I couldn't sleep a wink last night, I was so excited. Let's get started. We'll begin with Date's early life. In 1567, at Yonezawa Castle, you feel tired. Nope, we want that academics boost. And at age 15, Masamune Date emerged victorious on his very first battle. Thus began his rise to power. Huh? We're out of time? What's your next class? Composition? Hmm. I'll have to talk to Miss Toriyumi later. I better bring some cake. Anyways, let's continue. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Yay! Ah, oh, not enough though. <laughs> Academics does take take time. Hmm? Lunch time. Are we gonna see who we wanna? Sorry! Yes! Oh, definitely. I plan on going. Alrighty. And if I'm remembering it, Saori is at rank 9 as well, so this will be rank 10! <laughs> oh, we're finishing so many! Alright, into the hall we go. Talk to Saori. Alright. Go to the meeting. Still love this music. Ah, back at the nurse's office. You did your duties as health care committee member. The students that come seem surprised to see, see Sayori, but they no longer seem to be avoiding her. Are you two still here? It's getting late. Go on home. Ah, uh, that's right. Hasegawa, this is for you. A doll? It's not very cute. <laughs> It's not supposed to be cute. It's meant to keep you strong. It's said to eat misfortunes. It's my farewell gift for you as you leave us for new lands. Oh, Mr. Etagawa. Mr. Etagawa, thank you very much. Hey, Jaden-chan, would you mind walking with me to the school gates? My ride's here, so I'm going that way. This is where we say farewell. Aren't you being melodramatic? This is my last day here at GeckoCon. I'm leaving for that private school I, I told you about tonight. I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you. Sayori smiles. I'm going to be sad, but I think this is a turning point for me. I'm going to try to start over and try to stand up on my own. It'll be lonely without you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll never forget about you. Sour smiles. I've always been told to not have any opinions for myself. That is... That it was an easier way to live. I can make anything someone else's fault. Deep down, I always believed that everything that happened to me was the result of somebody else's doing. But this is my life, and what I do happens to me. No one can take my place, and if I have no one to blame but myself for what I let happen to me. That's why I need to stand on my own. <coughs> my throat's getting dry, sorry. But yeah, I understand how she feels. We have an opinion, yes. 
Our opinion matters, but it matters to only us. However, sometimes our actions for standing up for ourselves can do so much more. I need to have my own voice. Sorry laughs cheerfully. I knew that I'd never get anywhere if I let other people tell me what to do. I've known it for a long time. But I had no one to give, give me the final push that I needed. And I was too scared to accept it, even if I did have someone to help me. But you pushed me forward, along with all the fears I had. That's why I was able to do this. Sarah takes her cell phone out of her pocket. You can hear her voice being played from it. This is Sayori Hasegawa from Class 2C. It seems to be a recording of the school announcement. <laughs> I made a recording of the announcement as I was making it. Whenever I feel scared or discouraged, I'm going to listen to it. I was brave and spoke my own mind, and you helped me find that courage. I'm sure this will... I'm sure that this will give me strength if I ever need it. I want you to remember this, too. Please remember that it's because of you that I was able to do my best. You saved me. So, please take this. You accepted the PA recording from Salary. You saved it on your cell phone. Lastly, let's shake hands. Salary's hand is warm. You tightly clasp her trembling hand. You sense a strong bond with Saori. <laughs> Maximum rank up. The Hermit Health Committee. <laughs> thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Hermit Arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Arahabaki, the ultimate form of the Hermit Arcana. The Health Committee Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Health Committee Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Hermit Arcana has reached its maximum. Jaden Nakahara has forged a bond that cannot be broken. And now we have Arahabaki, the Aboriginal God. Do you remember your first love? Mine was my uncle. <laughs> I mean, I was a little girl. It's not that unusual, right? That's why I wanted to hurry up and become an adult. Every night, I would pray to the stars that I wanted to be a grown-up. Now I look back at my childhood and laugh. I wish I could go back to those innocent times. Maybe it's for the best that one's first love almost never comes true. Well then, I'm going to go. Thank you. Goodbye! Sari walks away with her head held high. You went back to the dorm alone. <laughs> we make such amazing friends along the way in our lives, don't we? Welcome back. All right. Well, we are available for Theo's request, so let's talk to Igus. Are you looking for oil? There are many types of oil. Fuel, food, and so on. If you'd like, I can give you some of my silicon oil for delicate parts. I have a large supply. And we got the machine oil. Alright. So, before we do the social link, let's go turn that in. And sadly, I'm gonna miss out on one of the requests. A couple, actually. I'm going the wrong way. We want to go to the back alley. To the velvet room. Yep. Check requests. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. This must be the oil I asked for. The label on the can says machine oil. I see. So this is used when frying machinery. Uh-oh. He drank it! 
Hmm. This distinct texture can be rather addictive once you get used to it. You may take this oil back with you. Would it be imposing if I asked for some mech fries the next time you come? <laughs> oh my goodness. Igor, your assistants are interesting. <laughs> And we got the railgun for I guess. That should be a nice boost. Uh, let's see, are there any requests I can take? Uh, nothing new just yet. And sadly, that one is going to go... ...incomplete, as well as that one. I wanted to try my best, but that would have meant spent more time in Tartarus and grinding, and uh, I spent enough time in there already. So we'll leave it at that. All right, so let's go do our next social link with Ken. Let's go back to the dorm we're heading. Town map. And dorm. And before we start that fly in the room, I'm going to take a sip of my drink for my dry throat. Oh, that's better. Okay. Back to the lounge. And time to talk to Ken. What's the matter, Jane son? And since we have Dominion, we'll get a nice boost. Put my marker where I need it to go. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. Fly in the room. Back to Akatsu. Ooh, music chipper today. Ooh, he's munching away. Ken is demolishing his calcium meal. Hmm? You can see something black on Ken's wrist. Yes? What is it? Oh. Ken's face turns bright red. Indian ink. Um, from calligraphy class. Ken rubs at the ink on his wrist. Um, I don't worry about it so much. But I hate being dirty. Ken speaks in a voice barely above a whisper. I forgot that I had homework. It was to write the name of something that I like. But I couldn't think of anything. Did you not write anything? I did write something. I wrote omelette and fried rice. Ken turns bright red. It would appear that Ken likes omelette and fried rice. Maybe you should make it for him sometime. You suggest that to him. Huh? You don't have to. Ken sounds embarrassed, but he looks happy. Um, you really are nice, Jaden son. Everyone else is, too. Yukari san bought me some ice cream the other day. She said that she wanted to have some, but she didn't buy any for herself. Junpei san always gives me the toy that comes with the candy he buys, even though he only gets a piece of gum. He says that he likes the gum better than the toy, but that can't be true. Everyone is so nice. Ken smiles. There's no need to be so nice to me. That goes for you too, Jane san Ken suddenly looks like he's ready to burst into tears. That's just how I am. Then, you don't act like that because you think I need it? Ken looks even more as if he's about to cry. <laughs> six years. We're only six years apart. Six years between you and me. Ken sighs softly. You feel like you've grown closer to seeing Ken's true feelings. And that brings us to rank six. Alright. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. 
Oh, actually, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you and Ken finished your dinner and returned to the dorm together. Alright, today is the second. Second. Nearing the full moon. Yeah, the fourth is our full moon, okay. So, today... Oh, really? We're spending time with Yukari. That's been a while. Hey, Jaden. She doesn't look too enthusiastic today. Anyways, let's go and spend time with Yukari. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of birds in the yard. Ooh, we went to the Chagall Cafe. I wonder if this pheromone coffee has some kind of effect on people. I've been into drinking it lately, and people have been saying that I've gotten cuter lately. I mean, tell me more, right? Ikari laughs merrily. I'm thinking about looking for a boyfriend. You won't have a problem. You think so? <laughs> I sure hope so. Ikari seems embarrassed. I've been thinking a bit. Finding someone to care for and loving them with everything I've got. And even if I do lose that person someday, I want to be able to cherish that sadness too. No, I want to really cherish being with them to the point that I won't even have time to feel sad when they're gone. I mean, no matter how sad I'll be, my memories of being with them will never disappear. It doesn't suddenly make the happy happiness I felt when I was with them a lie. <laughs> I swore that I'd never get married, but I'm surprised at how my mind's been changed so suddenly. I didn't think it was possible to change that much. I like the new me. Thanks. I think it's because of you. You sense Yukari's affection. us to rank nine. Hers is almost max now too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been invited to a group date, so I wonder if I should go. I've always declined these offers before, so it feels kind of awkward to suddenly say yes now. Hmm. But what do I do on a group date? Or what do you do? Oh well. Oh, wanna come with me? I'd feel more reassured. <laughs> Wouldn't that defeat the purpose? <laughs> you spend time chatting with Yukari. Alright. Hi, Koro-chan. There will be a full moon the day after tomorrow. Only three shadows left. We're almost done. Okay. Well, even though we've maxed it tonight... We've got a nice event that we can do, and I highly recommend doing it. We're gonna talk to Shinji. You. I'm okay. I feel better after our talk. Take care of them. I believe in you. You feel an unbreakable bond between you and Shinjiro. It doesn't seem that your relationship can get any closer than it is. Would you still like to spend time with him? Yes. Shouldn't you be with the others? I can't give you anything or do anything for you. I want to be with you. You can stare at me like that all day. I got nothing for you. I wasn't expecting it to be voice acted. <laughs> Haven't you wasted enough time on me? What more do you want? I want to talk more with you. Man, you're weird. You hungry? I'll make you something. Might as well talk and eat at the same time, right? Shinjiro quickly prepares a midnight snack. You ate with him and chatted about random things.
there is a reason you want to do that instead of the other option. And it is a very big reason. The lost seem to be growing in number. Really? I cannot explain why, but our highest priority should be eliminating the remaining shadows. The moon will be full tomorrow. I shall accompany you in battle. Okay, today is the third. Oh no. I hope you guys haven't forgotten that exam- exam- blah. Exams. <laughs> Exams start in 10 days, a week from Tuesday. If this class doesn't do well, I'll, it'll be my fault, so you better all study. Or better study hard. Can't read. Well, let's open to page 125. The younger generation is creating its own language in cyberspace. So oh, is it ever? <laughs> that was a part of that. I can read lead speak pretty good, but some of the new stuff, oh my goodness. I'm no computer nerd, but I've mastered the leet speak you all use online. <laughs> sure, Miss Toriumi. It's useful. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. I've even come up with my own internet slang. Not only is it totally unreadable, it's impossible to tell whether it's gibberish or real sentences. With my flair for cryptology, I could be a government spy. Yeah, that's what I'll shoot for. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. And there. Ah, I'm really hoping for it. I know it needs a really good kick, though. Alright, classes have ended for today. And today is the third. It looks like I should probably... Let's just go this way. This will probably be faster. I don't think I have any left, but I think I should buy some Yawn Be Gones. At least that's what my notes I wrote are. I think it's to help with... Yes, to help with something later. So, let's go and buy some Yawn Be Gones. I'll buy a couple. Cur curious what else is actually here, too. Let's look. We got crab bread, fried bread, yucky soba bread, apple strudel, melon bread, a cutlet sandwich, a book cover, I guess his uniform. <laughs> so this is where it was. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I looked through there. Okay, let's see. Portuguese is showing. I just saw my audio peak. Looks like we're going to the Naganaki Shrine. So, let's do that. <laughs> do -do -do. Time for the fortune box. Yes. Friends and Yukari. Right? Yeah. There we go. And today's luck. A little luck. Huh, average with money. Cool. Hi, how is your day? Tomorrow the moon will be full. I'm sure a shadow will appear, so please be ready. Okay. Speaking of which, let's just make sure everyone's properly equipped. Good. Junpei's gonna need some grinding later. Uh -huh. Actually, thinking about it, let's equip that railgun before we forget. Yep. Okay. All right, I think we're set. So, just to be on the safe side, because this is probably going to be heavy, I'm going to save. Because if this is the boss I'm thinking of, saving beforehand is a must. I hate this boss, but I think I remember its exploit. 
They make this boss worse in reload. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so tonight we're gonna head to Polonia Mall and do the quiz game to get our academics up. Game Panic, there we go. And quiz game. It's been a while since we've had to do this. Not enough yet. And now we have our full moon boss.